Hello and welcome to Course and Pack where we talk about the different degree programs here in the Philippines. It's been a long time since nagkaroon tayo ng regular episode. Naging busy ako. But finally, tonight we have another episode. We have an Atenean and he'll be talking about his degree program. And without further ado, let's start. Um, for the introduction, what's your name, your preferred pronouns, other information that you want to share, and from what degree program and from what university are you from? Hi guys, I'm Rance Maldrick Santos. I am a currently a third year BS Chemistry student from the Ateneo de Manila University. I go by he, him, and I'm currently in my summer term or sa Ateneo tawag nila intercession. Um, and I'm taking up well four subjects with nine units right now in six weeks. Okay, so Ranch is from BS Chem in Ateneo de Manila University. Describe your degree program in two to three sentences. Okay, so BS Chemistry, generally, not only in Ateneo, it covers all the different branches and sub-branches of chemistry. So you cover from organic chemistry to analytical chemistry with its sub-branches of quality assurance, quantitative, qualitative, instrumental chemical analysis, um, and other branches like inorganic chemistry, biochemistry, of course, and physical chemistry, which I will take in, third, um, in my first semester this um, August. Yeah. Okay. So what do you do in BS Chem? Describe your typical day before the pandemic and ngayong online setup, like, ano yung mga deliverables nyo or how do you study ganun? Okay. So, BS Chem, as I said nga, nga, it's very diverse. As napansin mo dun sa sinabi ko, it's very diverse. Mm-hmm. And as BS Chemistry students, we are very laboratory heavy. So, back in on-site classes, normally I would have around three hours of lecture classes and around... Um, one laboratory classes, um, MWF or TTHS, but usually MWF siya. And yung lab na yun, it's for four hours, like direct, four hours na dire-diretso. Um, so included na dun sa lab na yun yung pag-prepare ng um, setup, yung paggawa ng mismong experiment, and also cleaning up. And the cleaning up, usually takes up a long time. Ang joke nga namin sa course namin is, hindi lang kami BS Chemistry. We're BS Chemistry major in dishwashing. Kasi ang dami namin nililinis at the end of the day. As in, siguro pag medyo heavy yung experiment, tapos ang dami namin nagamit na glassware, around naabuting kami na 30 minutes to 1 hour. So, ayun. That's my typical day nung on-site. But sadly, right now, since we're in an online setup, hirap kaming gumawa ng labs. Hirap i-transform ang on-site labs to online labs. Though you could use um, simulations, but as chemists na mayroong competencies na required sa industry, mahirap siyang gawin na simulation lang. Kasi of course, we have to be competent in the skills that we need to know before we graduate. And happily right now, um, I'm currently having lab at home. So, nagpadala yung Ateneo sa amin ng lab kit. It contains all the chemicals, all the glassware, everything that you may need. Except, of course, yung mga distilled water, coke, and stuff na mabibili mo naman sa local mercury drug or 7-Eleven nyo. Or basically, dyan. Uh, madali lang siyang mabili. So, um, yun yung mga hindi na siya needed talaga. And um, right now, in an online setting, um, I don't necessarily follow the schedule that was provided to us, but as long as I set the day for um, finishing a certain requirement, and that, that's the only important thing for me. Wala naman kasing, and attend, of course, may synchronous clash, classes on the date and time that is um, scheduled by the professor. Yan lang. Okay, that's very comprehensive. Does your student, I, I mean, does your degree program he have a home organization and if part canon, how does it help you as a student of BS Chem? Okay, so back in my second year, well, until now naman, part ako, yes, we do have a home org. It's called the Ateneo Chemistry Society. 
um, the X is may di talaga X is for focused on not only the um, academic side of chemistry but knowing how chemistry can be applied socially and how it can have a impact on um, social on on society. Basically, what's good about having a home org in especially BS chemistry is that you have a community behind you. Hirap na nga ang BS Chem, super hirap ng BS Chem. And I'm not going to sugarcoat the, that for chemistry stu- or incoming or gusto mag-chemistry ng students. Hirap na nga siya, mahirap siya. But at least you have a community that will stand behind you, that will stand with you. Um, and kumbaga meron kang community na mapupuntahan, meron kang group of people that would be with you. Um, guiding you, you have your upperclassmen that would be helping you. Um, especially when it comes to the harder chemistry subjects. At least may experience na kasi sila doon. And yeah, ayun. It's also your way to, of course, create a dent in the world. Okay. What makes your degree program unique from other similar programs, katulad ng ChemEng or ano pa bang similar programs? So ayun, how is it unique? Okay. So BS Chem, um, unlike BS ChemEng or... Um, in Ateneo, meron kami na offer kasi na BS Mac, which is Management of Applied Chemistry, and also BS CHMSE. Um, chem, basically, double degree siya in five years, BS Chemistry and BS Material Science and Engineering in five years. So, if I would to make, basically, generalize, BS Chemistry kasi is more on the theoreticals. So, you handle more on the things na talagang i-imagine, kumbaga, molecules na kailangan mo i-imagine Um, and how they interact. Because these molecules, I mean, they're not sila nakikita in real life attacking each other or interact with, interacting with each other. That's different. That's the difference of BS chemistry from, let's say, BS chem ang na more on applications. Though they take certain BS chemistry classes like in org, alam ko meron silang organic chem rin. Pero more on applications sila on the factory or industry level they have their own applications. Kami kasi more on theoretical. Though we have our applications too, but um, and iba kasi yung, kung baga, iba yung engineering side talaga. Um, BS Chemistry, Material Science naman, it's, well, related yung dalawang degree programs that you're gonna take in five years. But, um, may dagdag ka lang, kung baga, na isa pang degree program. And, In comparing also with another thing that Ateneo offers, which is BS Mac. BS Mac naman, it's basically, you could call it BS Management major in chemistry. So you take management like finance, accounting, and all those other classes. But you also take um, BS Chemistry courses na theoretical. So, pero hindi ganun ka theoretical yun sa kanila, more on applied rin sila. Kasi they need it, of course, in creating products and all those. Yun <laughs> okay, so you talk about the different degree programs na similar inside Ateneo. How about compared to other universities? Like, what's the edge of Ateneo's BS Chem compared to, let's say, UP and La Salle? Una-una, we're one of the... We're actually, I could brag na medyo, parang kami yung best in the Philippines if you base it in the boards. Um, laging nagta-top notcher ang BS Chem sa Ateneo, mga Atenean, Atenean chemists. Um, and the difference mainly is that two, the, the second difference is advanced yung tinitake namin as compared to other universities. So we're taking, let's say, yung inorganic chemistry namin. Though it's an introductory inorganic chemistry, we're taking it in conjunction with master students also. Um, we have certain subjects na usually ino-offer lang siya as masters sa ibang university. Like for example, quality assurance. Kasi it's more built for industry, parang chemists in the industry. We're taking it as a bachelor's, in the bachelor's program. So very advanced and very, magagaling talaga yung professors namin rin. Like most of our professors, they have um, membership with the American Chemical Society. And they graduate. So I have a professor who graduated even from Princeton University for her PhD. So I am very, very well renowned and very well known. You know, maram sa professors natin. Okay, what do you love about BS Chem in Ateneo? Honestly, 
BS Chem period, hindi lang sa Ateneo, I'd say, I love BS Chem, I love chemistry. Though I'm using this as my pre-med, note that though. I'm using it as, ay, oops. <laughs> I'm using it as my pre-med. Um, BS Chem talaga, napamahal ako sa kanya. Kasi, in relation to the next question, parang, um, BS Chemistry is something that you can apply to your day-to-day life. It explains so many things that happen around you, and me being a very curious person, very intuitive and very um, alam mo, parang kini question ko lahat ng bagay na nangyari sa mundo natin minsan. It allows me to understand a lot of these processes. So, example would be, bakit ba tayo nagbovulcanize ng rubber? Um, another thing would be, bakit may bubbles? sa water um, dispenser natin pag medyo mainit yung panahon. Those things are stuff that you study in chemistry. And it allows you to see the world in another perspective. Sabi nga namin as chem majors, once you go chem, you can never go back. Kasi nagkakaroon ka ng bagong perspective, bagong viewpoint sa life in terms of the chemical, in terms of a world that people don't see. And that's beautiful for me. Like, Imagine these molecules. We have models for them. But it's it's like um, you look at a world that is just in your mind, but it's actually true and, true and has manifestations in our world. Kaya ayun, that's what made me really love and be passionate about chemistry. Yeah. Okay. So what common misconceptions do people have about BS Chem? Well, number one misconception is people think that when you take BS Chem, it's for med. Um, that's not true. Because BS Chem is a very, very diverse degree. Parang same, same with BS Bio. Very, very diverse. Um, you have different... Yun nga, I, I gave you a rundown of the different branches. And only one or two of those branches, of those main branches, ha? tackle medicine, tackle medicinal, or tackle things that you will study in med school. A lot of the others you will use for industry, you will use in your academic life or your teaching if you're gonna teach. So, ang dami rin um, parang career paths you could say um, in chemistry. Hindi lang siya yung um, maging doktor. Kumbaga. Um, another misconception, medyo joke time lang, um, drug lord. <laughs> <laughs> yun yung madalas yung sabi sa amin. Breaking like, bad pala. <laughs> Breaking bad pala kayo. Though, yes, we can study the theoretical aspect and we can uh, relatively actually, if you look at the theoretical aspect of it, methamphetamine is kind of easy to do. But, <laughs> um, hindi yun yung main goal na <laughs> Kasi of course, you don't wanna do anything illegal and anything that would harm our reputation as and, and us, our, our field as chemists. Um, though na popularize lang siya with you know Breaking Bad and mm. other TV shows and society. <laughs> Ayun. Okay, so in the topic of chemistry's diversity, ano yung mga career paths that are available to chem graduates? A lot, sobra. Of course, as chem graduates, you're eligible to um, take the chemistry licensure, PRC, yung PRC licensure exam for chemists. Um, as far as I know, it's a two-day, two-day or one-day exam, um, tackling all of the all of the major chemistry fields, um, and of course, as a chemist, um, maga pwede ka magkaroon ng career path uh, again medicine, um, in the industry you could work as a quality assurance um, analyst, you could also work as a teacher, of course. Um, Chemistry is a very well known. It, it's one of the science, um, major science uh, fields. Um, you could also go into ayun, cosmetics. Basically, sa industry, dun na medyo marami ng career path dun sa industry. Cosmetics, oils, paints, um, food, um, pharmaceuticals, yun. Ang daming ka nang pwedeng mag go into sa industry. Kasi, syempre, as chemists, um, Marami demand for chemists, honestly, sa Philippines. Pero sobrang konti ng nagkikem. Kasi nga, mahirap siya. Ayan. 
Okay, last question ko na actually. Um, any advice sa young people who want to pursue this degree program? Okay, so alamin nyo kung gusto niya talaga mag-chem. Hindi sa tinatakot ko kayo or whatever. I'm just saying this because chemistry is hard. Your four years and the university is hard. It will be hard. Um, alamin mo talaga kung gusto mo mag-chem. Mahirap pumasok sa isang course na pinilit ka lang, especially chemistry. Para yung medicine. Um, mahirap na pinilit ka lang to enter medicine or chemistry in that sense. Um, another advice that I could give you guys would be, of course, um, take it day by day. Especially when you enter chem. Um, marami kang concepts na matututunan dito, of course, that Um, nakakapagod siya sa utak kasi unang-una imagination heavy yung gagamitin mo and um, nakak- it's very theoretical kasi so talaga nakakapagod siya so take it day by day don't pressure yourself to alam mo push immediately um, and third of course is this degree program will test you it will and make sure that when you enter BS Chemistry, you are ready to be tested. You, hindi ka takot and handa kang lumaban. Kasi there are so many times in my college life as a third year na parang gusto ko na sumuko, ayoko na, pagod na ako. Kasi chem is hard. Chem is really hard. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But kailangan meron kang willpower and determination to fight through every day and to fight through pushing forward because you developed a passion or you have developed a passion for chemistry. Honestly, a lot of my batchmates, we're still here because we still have a really well passion for chemistry. Despite na hirap na hirap na kami with computation, hirap na hirap na kami with everything. It's the passion for chemistry that holds us all together and holds us to stay within the course. So yeah, that's all. Okay. Um, where they, where can they find out more about BS Chem, like yung curriculum or course offerings? For Ateneo, um, you mm-hmm. could check the Ateneo website. Merong BS um, Ateneo website, then you could look at the School of Science and Engineering, kasi dun under. Mm-hmm. And then, then you basically parang college namin. And then you could look at BS Chemistry. I think updated na naman yung curriculum that's there. If you have any questions, though, feel free to message me. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Rance. Um, if you want, you can plug your social media platforms or mga passion projects if you have. Okay. So, I currently don't have any passion projects naman because mm-hmm. I'm very busy with ACADS. But um, I do have um, Facebook, Rance Madrick Santos, so feel free to message me in Messenger. But if you want to reach me in Instagram, it's at the Rance Santos. So, at the Rance Santos. For Twitter, Um, medyo active ako doon so you could go to at random rants so yung spelling ng rants guys remember it's R-A-N-N-S baka malito kayo ayun so those are my social media platforms and feel free to reach out if you're an incoming or if you're a chemistry major from other universities um, para rin magkaroon tayo conversation regarding chemistry or yeah about life <laughs> okay so ayun thank you so much friends for being here tonight And thank you so much to our viewers na nanonood pa rin up to now. If you have other degree programs that you haven't tackled yet from different Philippine universities, please comment it down below and watch my other videos here in YouTube. And see you in my next episode. Bye-bye. Bye.